वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो थोड़ा मेरा साथ हुआ करता है मंडे टू फ्राइडे सवेरे सात तो लैके अठ बजे तक मंडे टू थर्सडे रात को दस तो लैके ग्यारह बजे तक और सैटरडे दो बजे सांज पाने दोपहर दो तो लैके तीन बजे तक और रात अठ तो लैके नौ बजे तक अज्ज इस कम्यूनिटी प्रोफाइल सैगमेंट में अभी थोड़ी मुलाकात करवाने जा रहे हैं टेलीविजन इंडस्ट्री के एक आइकन जिन्ह ने कि कैनेडा के खास तौर उत्ते टेलीविजन इंडस्ट्री में बहुत प्रमोट किया है और इस अलावा ये विजन टी वी जोए टी वी जूमर मैगजीन होर बहुत सारे संस्थाव चला रहे हैं इन वालों काप ना की संस्था भी चलाई जाती है जिसका मकसद है कि बजुर्गों के जोड़े इशूज़ ने उन्होंने एडवोकेसी की जा सके उन्होंने इशूज़ में एक कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म तो लिया के सरकार तक ले जाके उसका हल लभ्या जा सके सू बड़ा माण है कि अच्छा को स्टूडियो के आए हुए हैं जोए टी वी विजन टी वी के मालिक मोजिज नाइमर आओ उन्हों सज पाने वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू आर प्रीत थैंक यू आई रेकगनाइज थ्री और फोर वर्ड देर आई कॉन जूमर <laughs> That's right. right. And rest, what I have said, you don't know. <laughs> right. So we'll start off with your uh, life. And uh, today, it's a great honor to have you on this show today. And uh, it's a great uh, journey which you have had. But uh, over the years, what we found was that you have started owning these companies, and then you were the first one who gave the, especially the South Asians, or I would say the minorities, an opportunity to showcase their culture, their religion, their uh, habits, their styles, and everything. Because that was a turning point before yeah. that uh, people were not getting those kind of opportunities yes. so how did all this happen well people may not know it but i am also an immigrant mm -hmm. in fact uh, we were post war that's the second world war right. displaced persons mm -hmm. you don't hear this phrase much mm -hmm. in canada these days but we were known as dps okay. displaced persons so in that sense it was bred into my life mm -hmm. to know that this was a country that was increasingly taking in newcomers from all over the world right and that these people myself included had something to offer mm -hmm. the first place where you can see this impact of new immigration is always in a city mm -hmm. and on the local scene because newcomers don't start at the highest peaks of business in the banks and in the mines and in the railways mm -hmm. and with sugar and with salt and all the fundamentals often it starts in a taxi cab or right. it starts in a corner grocery store mm -hmm. it starts in a small restaurant and so the combination of my own personal experience and the visibility of the impact of new immigration as it began to grow mm -hmm. first in the 50s and then the 60s and the 70s and so on led me to this idea that the alternative to mass homogenized mm -hmm. continental and international entertainment was local information right and that's where the new phenomenon of multiculturalism could first be seen mm -hmm. and that's how this all started and today uh, on vision tv and joy tv right. uh, the minorities get an opportunity to showcase their cultures mm -hmm. and their religion i also had mm -hmm. a traditional education in the sense that i went to a parochial school mm -hmm. that taught the bible as an right. example in the original hebrew language mm -hmm. and uh, and from that i learned that it was not only a smart idea but it was a good idea right and that eventually i realized and i tried to get other people to realize mm -hmm. that you could do well right. by doing the right thing right so now moses you remember that word icon which i used because yes. of that now you are traveling all over the world right. and you are talking about the evolution of television the rise and fall right. and recently you were in italy also so what do you go and talk about there and how is the receptivity they were wonderful mm -hmm. as hosts and uh, this particular program is called meet the media guru right it's very well ex established at a very high level in mm -hmm. italy and all the major educational institutions and the major publications take it very seriously right. they want to hear and and what i came to tell them was that even though we are seized at this moment mm -hmm. by fascination with the internet and digital technology social media and so on 
the residual impact of television is still tremendously powerful. Right. And in terms of economics, the bulk of the money is still in TV. Mm -hmm. What's happened is that television, under the pressure of this new competition, mm -hmm. has done what competition can achieve at its best. G. It's forced the television industry to try harder and make better things. Right. And so now we are in a world where people generally identify the cinema with whiz-bang special effects mm -hmm. and sort of kids-oriented material. Mm -hmm. But the smart, character, well-developed, plotted stories are appearing more and more on mm -hmm. television, right. and particularly specialized television. Mm -hmm. So I call this the rise, the fall, mm -hmm. and now the rise again of television. Right. And even those companies and individuals who have been successful in the digital world, mm -hmm. what do they want? What do they dream about as their image of success? Right. They dream about a television show. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, there is a um, new channel in Canada called Vice. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's an outgrowth of a very popular um, youth-oriented magazine, which mm -hmm. then developed quite a world reputation based entirely on, <clears throat> well, the alternatives to conventional media. Right. They succeeded sufficiently now that they managed to get themselves a television channel. Right. And, and I'm also telling people, you know, Amazon, which mm -hmm. did so much to hurt the book business, right. has begun to build book stores. Right. So everything comes around eventually. Mm -hmm. And instead of seeing these media in antagonism to mm -hmm. each other, mm -hmm. they're all links in a chain. Right. When radio came along, it was going to destroy, you know, theater. Movies right. were going to destroy the theater. Mm. Radio was going to destroy the movies. Yeah. Television was going to destroy Inside the radio. radio and the movies. <laughs> None of it has gone away. Coexisting. Yes. And a smart media person, right. as a consumer, mm. will have a little bit of all of it Very in the true. same way that a smart business mm -hmm as an advertiser will want to be present in all of these different ways Absolutely. in which to meet the audience. Wonderful, thank you. We'll go for a short break, come back and learn more from you about uh, what are the future plans and how uh, you plan to further involve the communities even through CARP also, which you are doing. We'll talk about this after this short break. Great, So, when we talked about this, Moses has said that this traditional education that has been traditional education, which has been MA, which has been taught, and after that, they have applied to apply for the job. The print media which in any such as you can foreign correspondent with your job in Jaggi. But Hoyaki in a Kaga Kajaki to see sweep for floors no. Ostobad in other interest television Rale Pasia, Uthun and Shuad Kiti, the Holly Holly gradually Johe in a developed Kerke, Vision TV, Joy TV, at the whole Bohatsara electronic media which Nam Kamaya. I can in a Nusli Kajan that you get Dunia Parvija Jaki lectures in the Ne, the Holly which Italy Gaiosi Jetanane, the rise and fall of television the Tigalvat Kiti, the television Johe is Trahirega. कभी राइज होएगा कभी फॉल होएगा लेकिन हम जो जमाना है उस दिवस पामे प्रिंट मीडिया होए ते पामे डिजिटल मीडिया दी ऐसी गल करने ते पामे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया दी ये सारे ही को एक्जिस्ट करेंगे क्योंकि जेकर ऐसी समझे कि टेलीविजन का जमाना खत्म हो गया ता लोग कोल्डिवेचन क्योंकि आज भी जड़ा from getting my dream car to celebrating life's special moments. Always bringing us joy. And now my loved ones can make them a part of their life story. Family is what you make, and they are a part of mine. Basant Motors. So, welcome to the community profile of this community profile segment, which is known as Moses Naimbar. So, before the break, you were saying that now the time has come when we have to coexist. It's not a case of one media overlapping the other one. Everyone will coexist and then only you can succeed. So, what are the things that you have done in the community profile? Well, first of all, I would like to say that 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 I would like to say that
I think I speak not just for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, satisfaction lasts a very brief moment. <laughs> you know, if right. you escape the grim reaper, mm -hmm. you say, phew, right. I made it. Uh, but then you immediately think about the next thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what it means to me. Success means that A, you stay alive. Right. B, you have an opportunity to do more of the same but better. Mm -hmm. And if you are really successful and have made some money, you can try new things. Right. That's what it means to me. The mm -hmm. pleasure and the freedom of doing more. Mm -hmm. And what drives you to do what you do? Well, those are the reasons. Right. Um, and, and I have been, in that sense, lucky right. to have stumbled on a profession mm -hmm. where you could do well by doing good. I right. think that bringing the notion of multiculturalism to life mm -hmm. on screen and putting representatives of all of these new phenomena, mm -hmm. new races, new cultures, new contributions, new music, new food. Right. Um, has been very satisfying for me because mm -hmm. it's interesting inherently. It has been successful as a business right. and I think has been useful for society. Absolutely. In that same way, mm -hmm. I take up other causes mm -hmm. and the one I have thrown myself into over the last number of years you're familiar with and that is the advocacy for Canadians as we age. Right. And it's called CARP. CARP. Yeah. yeah. It used to stand for the Canadian Association of Retired Persons, mm -hmm. but we don't say that retired word anymore because, mm. you know, the best way to keep going right. is, is to, to keep, keep going. going. <laughs> so we say it's the Canadian Association of Refreshed, right. Recharged, mm -hmm. Revitalized Persons. Right. Because we're living longer. Absolutely. And most of us are living better. Mm -hmm. So we have that extra time. Right. And older people generally are at the peak of their careers. Right. They usually have left behind the troubles of their life and mm -hmm. have achieved a moment of tranquility. Right. And people want to do good. They want to give back. Absolutely. They want to be useful in their society. At the same time, they deserve a little of the rewards of a lifetime of work, right. a lifetime of social engagement. Mm -hmm. So there are people who say, okay, now is my turn. Mm. I'm going to travel. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to give presents to my family, to mm -hmm. people I love. I'm going to dispose of some of the things that I have spent years in acquiring. It's a fascinating time of life right and we take this community and we represent their interests often with government mm -hmm. in order to see that in addition to all that good stuff right there is also financial security mm -hmm. for older people with less means and that our entire health and wellness system is sufficiently geared mm -hmm. to handle the fact that we are living longer. So you have talked uh, about CARP is very dear to you and you really worked hard to spread this message and you are trying to involve the Canadians in a big way. Uh, you come up with a magazine, Zoomer magazine, which contains a lot of information. Zoomer shows are organized on the television also. A lot of information is given to the people. Right. Now, to get involved with this, people want to come forward and be a part of this. How are you further trying to promote it, Moses, so that uh, uh, other communities also can join hands and as uh, when we talk about multiculturalism as such, it is seen in practice also. Well, I, I'm glad you raised the question, and in part, I'm hoping that you and your viewers mm -hmm. might help me with some answers, because uh, CARP right now is pretty much a mainstream organization. Right. Uh, we are very conscious about wanting to engage so-called minority communities, mm -hmm. except here in Surrey. Right. The minority is the majority, practically, <laughs> right? Right. Um, and, and in particular, because we see in, in the Sikh population, mm -hmm. or in the Chinese population, uh, a culture that is more open to multi-generational living mm -hmm. and, and have a level of respect for older people that right. is wanting in contemporary mm -hmm. mainstream culture. You know, 
since the Second World War, we've gone through, especially in North America, a period where we rejected age, mm -hmm. where we were so upset by that Second World War and the right. whole century before it mm -hmm. that we rejected the people who brought us that world and all the emphasis went to youth, mm -hmm. especially the 60s and the 70s. Right. So we would like to see mm -hmm. membership in CARB in, from Surrey. We'd mm -hmm. like to see membership in CARB from Brampton, which mm -hmm. is where a lot of the South Asians in Toronto right. live. And, and it's, it's a challenge for us. Right. Um, the way to get engaged is, it's easy, one can join by computer, take a few minutes, mm -hmm. carp.ca. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it is peanuts. It's, right. If you do it online, it's like $15 mm -hmm. a year, $14.95. And you get a whole raft of benefits mm -hmm. the first time you use any one of them, whether it's uh, to uh, rent a car or uh, get a hotel room mm -hmm. or or source a pair of glasses, or right. move your family from one place to another, mm -hmm. you'll save hundreds of dollars right. for that one fifteen dollar mm -hmm. commitment. Um, uh, but but there are other reasons to join other right. than the material, mm -hmm. and they have to do with wanting to do good in society. Absolutely. And we would like to mobilize mm -hmm. the populations that live here right. and elsewhere in the country to participate with us in CARP mm -hmm. and look after the interests of all Canadians right. as we get older. Mm -hmm. Some of us are very well to do and we have to take care of the people who are not so successful. Right. That's why financial security mm -hmm. and health and wellness are the two top issues right. for Canadians as they get older, and that's the main object of our work at CARP. There's so much to talk uh, from your life, but towards the end, I would like, uh, uh, what is your feeling as to what would be your message to our youngsters especially who want to come into the electronic field? Mm. Uh, what would you advise them from your experience? Huh. I'll say this. There is the mechanical part mm -hmm. of the media business. Right. So you need to know how to shoot mm -hmm. and how to pick up sound and how to edit and to do post production. Right. But that doesn't make the difference. Mm -hmm. That's a base of information that everybody should have a little bit. Mm -hmm. And where once upon a time that was esoteric, mm -hmm. today we have it in our pocket. Absolutely. We have this capability in our smartphone. Mm -hmm. So what becomes important is what do you have to say? Right. And what I say to young people who ask me mm. is don't just get an education on the nose. Right. Read wildly, mm -hmm. right? Um, travel the world. Mm. Uh, make sure that you have a broad range of friends and acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Don't restrict yourself to a narrow and homogeneous group. Right. Right? Make friends across the generations, make friends across the multicultural groups. As you do that, mm -hmm. you will become a more enriched person and you'll wake up one day and you will actually have something to say. You're a man with something to say and I must compliment you because doing simultaneous translation <laughs> for somebody like me who speaks in long paragraphs remembering everything I said and delivering that with accuracy mm -hmm. to your audience in real time is an exceptional skill. Thank Not you. everybody can do it. Sir, it was a pleasure talking to you. As always, uh, whenever you're here, you give us time. Thank you very much and best wishes. Great to be here. Thank you. So, when we talked about it, it was a very important issue. CARP is a very important issue. It is a very important issue. It is a very important issue. Multicultural communities, such as Punjabi community, such as Punjabi community, such as Brampton, आओ सारे रल मिलके काब दे मेंबर्स बनिए क्योंकि सिर्फ पंद्रह डॉलर दे के जब तुम इस दे मेंबर बंदे हो इस दे बहुत सारे बेनिफिट्स ने इस दे वेच तो अनु बहुत सारे हेल्थ इश्यूज दे बारे या फाइनेंशियल सिक्योरिटी बारे इनफॉरमेशन जितने जितने जान दिए उस दे नाल नाल तो अनु हर महीने मैगज़ीन पे जाया � मेरी या इन अधिकाल जो होएगी तो शायद कोई सुन ले लेकिन जब तो सिर्फ सारे कठे होंगे तो डेफिनेटली साड़ी वन वॉइस होएगी तो ऐसी अग्गे जाके अपने मुद्दियाँ नो अग्गे ले जा सकने हैं वो होए पामे पेंशन आधा मुद्दा या बुजुर्ग आधे होर इश्यूज या कॉमन सिटिजेंस जेडे मुद्दे ने उन्होंने कौन अग्गे लेके जाएगा एक 
नॉन पोलिटल ऑर्गनाइजेशन है जिसका मकसद है कि थोड़े इशूज़ में अगर लैके जाके उन्होंने तो डिस्कशन करनी तो सरकार को उन्होंने मनवा इस करके कारकून जरूर ज्वाइन करो और सूँ बड़ा माण है कि हरप्रीत सिंह शो भी यही प्रोपोगेट करता है कि सारे ही कार के मैंबरस बनो ताकि असी सारे अपने इशूज़ में अगले जा सकी अखीर में इन्होंने मैं पूछा कि थोड़ा की मैसेज होएगा जोड़ा तुम यंगस्टर्स में देना चाहते हो तो इन्होंने कहा कि मैसेज सिर्फ यही है कि अच्छ टैक्नोलॉजी बहुत बढ़ चुकी है टैक्नोलॉजी उत्ते सहारा ना रखो आप इनवॉल्व हो वो तो आप समझो ट्रैवल करो फील करो तो दिलों अपने आप में इनवॉल्व करो जेकर वाकई में कामयाब जर्नलिस्ट वो भी इलैक्ट्रॉनिक जर्नलिस्ट बनना चाहते हो